Hello and welcome back to our next tutorial on electrical measurements and uh, electronic instruments. In this uh, video, we are going to learn about another type of uh, instruments, ammeters, uh, which we call moving iron instruments. These are very simple instruments. This is made up of mainly a coil. and this coil will have turns okay. and this coil can carry some current. Let me call this current as I. So, this is the current, the unknown current that we want to measure. Now, we will have a piece of iron in front of this coil. Now, when any current flows through this coil, the coil acts like an electromagnet, like a solenoid and therefore, it is magnetized and it will attract this iron bar, this piece of iron. Okay? So, the iron, this piece of iron will try to move closer to this electromagnet or solenoid. Now, what I will do? I will attach this iron bar to some pivot and uh, so that the this iron bar can rotate uh, around this pivot and I will attach a spring. The spring will try to hold the this piece of iron at its normal position it will not allow the iron piece to move towards this um, electromagnet. And then what I will do? I will connect a long pointer to this iron piece, so that when any current flows through this coil, this iron bar will get attracted towards the electromagnet and the spring will try to hold it back in its original position, but due to attraction iron bar will move towards this magnet by some amount which will cause this pointer to also move towards the left according to my diagram. And I can have a scale with markings like this, so that these markings will indicate the value of the current. The higher the value of this current is, this iron bar will be attracted more towards this magnet, this electromagnet and this pointer will move more towards the left. Therefore, by observing the position of this pointer along this scale, we can measure the amount of current. So, according to my diagram, here I may have higher current values uh, towards the left, maybe uh, 10 ampere here, maybe somewhere here uh, 5 ampere, maybe uh, 0 ampere here, etcetera, okay? or maybe 0 ampere here, uh, depending on or I may erase part of the scale. Okay? So, this way we can measure this unknown current by observing the position of this pointer along this scale. This instrument is called an attraction type moving iron instrument. Because this instrument acts based on the attraction between this iron bar and this electromagnet. We can have another type of uh, moving iron instrument, which is uh, more common in practice 
and that is called a repulsion type instrument. So let us see how does that work. Once again, I will have a coil which will carry the current, unknown current. So let me draw the coil. and this is the conductor carrying the current let this current be i the unknown current and now i will have two pieces of iron bars instead of one so, let me draw them uh, here. Mm. So, this is one iron bar and let this be another iron bar. Both are irons. Now, suppose if I have a uh, current flowing in this direction, so it is like this, then it will generate flux maybe in this direction depending on the direction of the current. Okay. Therefore, both this pieces of irons will get magnetized and maybe this side will be north and this side will be the south pole of this induced magnet. If this side is north for this induced magnet, this side should also be north and this side should also be south because they are in same magnetic field, they are placed side by side, so they should have same polarity. If this side is north, then this side should also be north. If this is south, then this should also be south or vice versa. So, anyway, the like polarity, like, uh, similar poles uh, will be nearby. So, this south pole and this south pole will repel each other. Similarly, these two north poles will repel each other. Now, what I will do among these two uh, bars of iron, I will fix one of them to the frame of the instrument. So, this is fixed. So, this is not movable. And this one I can connect once again say with a pivot. So, then this iron bar can move up or down. I will connect a spring once again, so that the spring holds the uh, this iron bar at some normal at, at a normal position when there is no current. But as soon as this current flows, this repulsion starts and the iron bar will move upwards. Okay. So, now I can connect uh, again a long pointer to this and I can draw a scale here. So, as current flows the pointer moves uh, upwards in an if the current is more, this repulsion force will be more and the pointer will move further 
uh, up and indicating higher value of current. So now I can possibly mark uh, say this position by 0 ampere, this position by say maybe 1 ampere, this position by I do not know uh, maybe some higher value uh, maybe 3 ampere or so on. Okay. So we can mark these positions so that this pointer can indicate the value of the current. Okay. So this is called a repulsion type instrument. Now the next thing that we should uh, do as usual is find out the expression of torque. Okay, so let us consider first this attraction type instrument. The idea uh, that you may, uh, that you should understand is that the force of attraction depends on two factors. It is proportional to two factors. First factor is how strong the, uh, so the first factor is how strong this electromagnet is. So let me write strength of electromagnet. This is one factor and another factor is the strength of magnetization of this iron bar. So these are the two factors on which the force of attraction depends. Okay. So now this, this we can further write that this is proportional to now the strength of electromagnet is proportional to the current I because more the current is we expect the strength of this electromagnet to be higher. So I am writing this as propor uh, proportional to I. Now the strength of the iron bar or the magnetized iron bar or induced uh, this induced magnetization will again depend on the strength of the solenoid or this electromagnet which in turn depend on the strength of this current. So this second term also is proportional to the current this current I. So therefore we can expect that the force is proportional to I square and therefore of course the torque which is nothing but force multiplied by some, uh, some length, some distance will again be proportional to I square. Okay? So this is one important result about the attraction type instrument. Now let us see what happens for a repulsion type instrument. So for a repulsion type instrument once again the torque okay, the, or the deflecting torque will be proportional to the force of repulsion this force and this will be proportional to once again two factors and the two factors are the strength of this magnet and the strength of this upper magnet. So let me write it as the strength 
of say lower magnet according to my diagram. This is not a magnet, I mean this is the strength of magnetization, strength of uh, better to write lower bar, I mean lower iron bar, this multiplied by the strength of magnetization of the upper bar. Now, this strength will depend on this current. More this current is, the flux lines will, the amount of flux, flux density will be more. So, the magnetization will be more. So, this will therefore be proportional to I. And the second term, once again, is proportional to I. The strength of magnetization of each of this iron bar is proportional to the strength of this electromagnet or the current I. Okay. So, roughly, so uh, therefore, once again, the torque is proportional to I square. Okay. So, this is an important result about moving iron instruments that the torque, deflecting torque is proportional to the square of the current. Now, let us consider the equilibrium condition. So, equilibrium by equilibrium we mean the situation when the deflecting torque is same as equal to the opposing torque given by the spring. So, that at that position the two torques cancel each other and the uh, pointer can stay at that position without moving further. So, at equilibrium we can write the deflecting torque is same as the controlling torque or opposing torque given by the sp spring. This is true for both type of instruments, no matter attraction type or repulsion type. So, controlling torque by spring and this deflecting torque we know is proportional to I square. So, we can possibly write that uh, this is equal to some constant k multiplied by I square. So, this is some constant. and the right side will be equal to uh, let me call it k 1 let me call it this k 1 and k 2. So, this is spring constant multiplied by the theta the angle of deflection. So, this will imply theta is equal to k 1 by k 2 I square. So, this we can write as some constant k, k 1 by k 2 some constant times I square. So, we observe that the angle of deflection theta is proportional to I square. Therefore, on the scale If I have uh, 0 ampere here and if I call this as my 0 degree position or 0 degree angle, then say for uh, say for 1 ampere current, I get uh, 5 degree deflection. So, 
So, somewhere here at 5 degree okay, or maybe uh, this is more than 5 degree. Uh, so, I will have um, 1 ampere, but now 2 ampere current will indicate will cause the pointer to move by an amount 5 degree multiplied by 2 square equal to 20 degree. So, it will be somewhere here maybe. So, observe the scale is non-uniform. or we say non-linear. Okay. So, because the angle of deflection is proportional to i square, it is not proportional to i. So, this is one important property of moving iron instruments. Now, another important fact, another important observation is that the direction of uh, of pointer movement that is theta or the direction of the torque this does not depend on the direction of the current. Okay. So, let us go back to our schematic diagram. Suppose, if I reverse the direction of, of the current from uh, like this. So, if I even reverse the direction of the current, but if the magnitude of current remains same, then also this iron bar will get attracted, because a magnet can always attract a iron bar a magnet never repels an iron bar. Okay. So, the direction of the torque will always remain same unchanged in this uh, in this situation. Once again here if I change the direction of the current then then maybe all these currents will also be reversed and so therefore, these flux lines will also be reversed and this north and south will be altered. So, this will become south and north. south and north, but still you see the similar poles are close by, close, uh, so they are uh, side by side. So, once again this force will be still repulsive, we will never have attractive attraction force between these two. So, the direction of the current does not matter, the pointer will always move in the same direction. Okay. So, Therefore, we can measure AC current with this instrument okay? and the torque deflecting torque T d will be, so as we have seen is proportional to I square 
okay so and if i is a function of time t so we can write this is like this and therefore the average torque so ever time average will be time average of this i square t now what is this i square the time average of i square t this is nothing but by definition it is the square of rms value of the current so i rms square so average torque is proportional to i rms square and therefore the theta will also be proportional to i rms square okay so that's uh, it in this video in our next video we will demonstrate you we will show you a real instrument a real moving iron instrument uh, and we will talk in more detail about uh, about uh, subtle aspects of uh, the construction and um, different things of a real instrument in our next video thank you